there is an image that's over 80 years old and still being purchased over 100 times every month from the right holder Corbus Photo Agency. It stands for the spirit of its time, it stands for a crisis and for people fighting against it in great danger. You know it, your mom knows it and it probably hangs on the wall in your favorite bar. Hi and welcome to Iconic Photographs, where I present you the most impressive and important pictures that have been captured since the beginning of photojournalism. Well, maybe not this time. At first glance, this picture seems to be photojournalism, but stay tuned to find out why it's not. It has been taken on the 20th or 29th of September in 1932. Nobody knows the exact day. Even the photographer is unknown, but filmmaker Sean O'Quellen, who did a documentary about the image, narrows it down to probably three possible originators and was able to unquestionably identify two of them. This guy and this guy. Okay, one thing at a time. What do we see here? Obviously, it has been taken in Manhattan, New York City, since you can spot the Central Park in the background. And the building that is under construction here is the now called GE building of the Rockefeller Center. 11 probably Italian, Indian or Irish construction workers enjoy their lunch and some cigarettes above 41st Street. Or don't they? I mean, it must be faked since nobody would sit that high above the ground with no safety equipment. Well, maybe nowadays with our idea of safety precautions, but in 1932, the era of the Great Depression, people did anything to get a job. Even working at their own risk, 850 feet, 256 meters, above the street without safety nets. So after filmmaker Sean O'Cullen, you remember, looked at the glass plate negative of the photograph at Corbus Photo Agency, he was able to prove that it's indeed real. It was nearly impossible at the time to hang a huge print of the skyline behind the workers or combine it Photoshop-like in the darkroom. And since the men displayed in the image jump around steel girders anyway, the whole day, it was no struggle to arrange them. So it's not really a journalistic image, but an arranged one. The guys actually worked there and this scene could have happened. And it was a publicity stunt of the Rockefeller Center. Three photographers were asked to accompany the construction with their camera. This is also the reason why nobody can prove who of them actually shot this one. And there is a second, quite similar one of the same scene. You can tell the difference by these two guys on the far left that slightly moved between the two images that were exposed only seconds apart. This is not the only image of the girder setup. There is another one showing four workers relaxing at the same spot as in the lunch picture. It is also part of the whole series of images that have been shot there but never went even close to viral like the famous lunch one. And wasn't the example for countless reenactments like this one, this one or this one. So what's the most dangerous thing you ever did to take a great photograph? Maybe climb on a tree or put a whoopee cushion on your teacher's chair. Please let me know and share your story with us. I'm very much looking forward to this and what you think of my show. Thanks for watching and always remember, bring your camera because it can capture even the shortest moment for a lifetime.